You're watching the three-time NCMPR Medallion Award-winning Studio Bergen. Hi everyone and welcome to Studio Bergen. It is time for our season closing top 10. Let's get right into our final countdown of the year. Number 10. Sure, summer is on the horizon, but that doesn't mean Bergen stops offering students a chance to get ahead. And believe it or not, we're just three months away from the start of fall classes too. Take a look. Transform your future when you enroll in summer and fall classes at Bergen Community College, number one in New Jersey for associate degree graduates. A Bergen education helps take you farther. Begin your transformation today. Visit bergen.edu. Number nine. Before donning their caps and gowns at commencement, the class of 2019 participated in GradFest, an opportunity to pick up their regalia, decorate and settle any outstanding issues before turning their tassels on commencement day. We spoke with a few of the grads. I feel very accomplished. I mean, I'm, you know, I've been doing this for like about three years now. I dropped out, came back in it, you know what I'm saying? So I feel very accomplished that it's finally happening and I'm walking. It's an honor to, to graduate. I'm the first one in my family. It's kind of a big accomplishment for me uh, to graduate uh, from Bergen. Uh, first one to get an associate's degree and going for my bachelor's. And I'm just happy that I get the opportunity to share this with my parents and I'm just happy. Number eight. The college hosted its second annual legislative lunch for the state, county, and municipal government officials late last month. The event featured a roundtable discussion on topics related to workforce development, training, and early college programs. Attendees such as Westwood Mayor and Bergen alumnus John Berkner appreciated the opportunity to once again come on campus. I'm really impressed and I'm inspired when I come into the doors here and I see the programs. Uh, just to see the new STEM center uh, was just absolutely overwhelming. Uh, to see every bit, the culinary students today that just provided this great meal for us, um, it just all the programs that we learn about every time we come in and talk to the administration here, it's, it's exciting. The lunch, once again prepared by Bergen culinary students such as Ashley Escaholm, put their skills on display. It was great learning experience for the future. I've learned so much from working in this, you know, in the Bergen room this year. Number seven. In recent months, the Bergen Community College Foundation has begun to refocus its efforts and build momentum toward future success as it seeks to raise critically needed funds for the institution and its students. Last month, the foundation took the wraps off one of its newest signature events, the President's Circle Dinner, which greeted some of the most generous college donors and officials for an evening highlighted by a reception in the new STEM Student Research Center. Dinner and performances by the cast of Bergen Stages Into the Woods. Number six. The good work of the foundation and its donors was also on display, literally, as the institution unveiled the highly anticipated 5450 campaign Donor Wall, recognizing more than 400 current and former students, faculty, staff, and community members who participated in last year's award-winning scholarship campaign. The project raised more than $131,000 for students. Executive Director of the Foundation Ron Miller said the wall represents a monument to the generosity and student success. I think it's a great testament to the folks who have helped build Bergen Community College into a, the statewide recognized institution that it is. Uh, everyone felt a need to celebrate 50 years and what better way to do it than contribute to a scholarship fund that's well over six figures and will benefit students for generations to come. Faculty member and 50 for 50 donor Linda Hall enjoyed seeing her name up on the wall. It's beautiful. It's in a beautiful spot. I mean, for people to come in and out, they can't, you can't miss this wall. And to see all the people that, you know, take such great pride in our college and coming here to this beautiful place, this wall means a real lot. The 50 for 50 campaign took place as part of the institution's 50th anniversary celebration last year and won first place honors among 650 colleges in the National Council on Marketing and Public Relations event fundraising category for overall execution and excellence. Number five. The foundation also put its scholarship money to good use at the annual award ceremony that distributed approximately $216,000 to 177 students. 
Each of the scholarships, funded by community members, faculty, and staff, carries its own unique criteria, providing opportunities for many subsets of the Bergen student body. We got reaction from a few of the awardees. It means that other people believed in my potential and I can keep going to school. It's really a great help because like, I'm, I'm working on the side and I have to pay also for my education. So like, that's, I guess that's a very, very good help. This helps me tremendously. You know, it doesn't, you know, to me it could be, you know, a hundred, a thousand, you know, but anything, you know, it's, it means a lot. Number four. Let's look at the numbers on this one. More than 1,500 students applied for the Jack Kent Cook Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship. Only 61 received it, but three were Bergen students. 11 Bergen students in the last five years have earned the award, too. We spoke with this year's winners, Makiko Freund, Won Jun Kang, and Lindsay Nanja. I was incredibly delighted, but also surprised and shocked. It's especially since it's such a prestigious and competitive scholarship and community to be a part of. Um, but it definitely is a life-changing point, uh, especially with choosing schools. Even making it as far as semi-finalists motivated me to apply to more prestigious schools because I might have an opportunity to afford it and study there. So incredibly life-changing for me. I was really honored uh, just to be a part of the um, very select group of students to be given the opportunity to have this life-changing scholarship. Um, I think it's really hard to put into words uh, just how much it means to all of us uh, to get the award. I have always wanted to be a doctor for a long time and I just didn't know how I was going to pay for college. It was always a big you know, problem for me because I'm wondering if I can't be able to pay for college here at Bergen Community College, how will I pay for college and med school? But getting you know, the Jack Ken Cook Scholarship gave me hope. It filled me with so much hope that, yes, I'll be Dr. Janja one day because of Jack Ken Cook. So I was very honored, humbled, happy. I am still happy, still feeling like someone will wake me up and tell me that it was a dream. The Cook Foundation Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship represents the largest private scholarship in the nation for students transferring from two-year community colleges to four-year institutions that award bachelor's degrees. The scholarship provides students for $40,000 per year for college. Number three. Our next two stories reflect the college's continued focus on STEM and the more than 2,000 enrolled students that take advantage of its programs. Once again this year, Bergen hosted the STEM C2 Squared Summit, an opportunity for Bergen students and those from other colleges and high schools to present their research, network, and chat with industry leaders, such as IBM executive Maria Booney, who offered some points of advice and reinforced the conference theme of women in STEM. The top three things is make sure you expand your network, which is a great opportunity for us to do here today. Never stop learning, which I know your students are very focused on that, and love what you do. Organizer Luis de Breu said the conference has helped solidify Bergen's reputation as a STEM leader. I want to make sure that people in the area know that Bergen Community College is a, is a hub for anything STEM related. Uh, we have this show every year and, and we're very lucky that uh, so many institutions and so many students are participating and showcasing their work. Uh, not only internally, which uh, we have about 22 or 23 different posters showing the talent of our students and faculty, but the fact that we are all getting together from these community colleges and even high schools uh, just to showcase is a great way to, to bring awareness into the STEM program and to Bergen overall. Number two. Assisted by a student-constructed robot and joined by Bergen County government officials, faculty, staff, and institutional leaders, President Dr. Michael D. Redman cut the ribbon on the $1 million STEM Student Research Center on April 30th. Suez sponsored the opening ceremony, donating $5,000 to support the college's STEM programs. I'm told by my faculty that this is likely a unique facility in the United States, that no other community college has this kind of facility. And that's not just because of the, the tremendous equipment that is here. It's because it is a student STEM research center. And we have some incredibly talented students at Bergen Community College. Bergen County Executive James J. Tedesco III 
also spoke at the opening. This is about giving students an opportunity and a chance, and really in a field where we really need young people to continue to advance themselves. And Burton Community College is stepping up. I talked before about how we started back in the, in the late 60s with just one small building, and look where we are today, opening a STEM center. In addition to County Chapter 12 funds, the U.S. Department of Education and Emil Bueller Perpetual Trust all helped support the construction of the $1 million facility, which features large showcase windows that enable observation from outside the center, a drone's robotics wing, a maker space, and mini course classroom. Students look forward to conducting research, which has already included converting a softball field house into a workshop, high altitude balloon launches, retrofitting a gas combustion truck and motorcycle into electric vehicles, and conducting experimental testing with wind turbines and solar panels. The idea that this big um, facility can offer so much to students is just like encouraging and motivating you to like just push yourself harder and harder and see like where you can land with the next project. It's super exciting. I'm thinking about my own project and I know I'll be able to do so much more, so much faster, but there's so much other cool stuff here uh, with the 3D printing and um, just like the nice workspaces. It's, it's really, really cool. I'm really excited. Number one. The Burton Community College Class of 2019 and the state's tuition-free Community College Opportunity Grant Initiative took center stage at the institution's graduation ceremony at MetLife Stadium, led by a grant recipient and one of the state's top champions of the program. The class, which featured more than 2,000 students, included Community College Opportunity Grant awardee and class valedictorian, Lindsay Nanja. Coming to Bergen Community College changed my life for the best because I found a family, a support system that has loved me and nurtured me, molded me into the lady I am today. Nanja overcame personal tragedy to become the class of 2019's top student. Both of her parents passed away from AIDS when she was two years old. Since then, she has aspired to become a doctor and hopes to conduct research on the disease that claimed her parents' lives. Nanja recently earned the Jack Kent Cook Undergraduate Transfer Scholarship, which we discussed earlier in this program, which will provide her with up to $40,000 a year for college. New Jersey Secretary of Higher Education Dr. Zakia Smith-Ellis delivered the keynote address at the event, focusing her remarks on the state's renewed support of higher education, including the Community College Opportunity Grant. She applauded Bergen for its rollout of the grant program, which ultimately provided a tuition-free college experience to 500 of the institution's students during the spring pilot. We know that allowing more students the opportunity to go to college and to complete is one of the smartest investments we could ever make as a society. Bergen President Dr. Michael D. Redmond served as the Master of Ceremonies. Bergen County Executive James J. Tedesco III and Bergen County Board of Chosen Freeholders Chair Jermaine Ortiz also provided remarks. Retiring Professor Joan McManus led the procession as Grand Marshal. Bergen's class of 2019 featured 71 students with a 4.0 GPA, High school students from the Bergen County Applied Technology High School and North Arlington High School earning associate degrees from the college before they even graduate from high school, members of the number one ranked Phi Theta Kappa chapter in the world, students who published research in an international journal, study abroad scholarship winners, members of the award-winning student newspaper The Torch, students who will transfer to Ivy League institutions such as Columbia University and other top-tier schools such as the University of California at Berkeley and NJIT. For the first time, the entire class wore eco-friendly caps and gowns made from 100% post-consumer recycled plastic bottles. Congratulations, class of 2019. That's our countdown and our season. Thanks again to the great crew that works on this program. We cannot do it without you. For Studio Bergen, I'm Larry Levanka. We will see you in September. Thanks and take care.